Jesus laid down his life to show his love for us. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Bill Crowder. W.T. Stead, an innovative English journalist at the turn of the 20th century, was known for writing about controversial social issues. Two of the articles he published addressed the danger of ships operating with an insufficient ratio of lifeboats to passengers. Ironically, Stead was aboard the Titanic when it struck an iceberg in the North Atlantic on April 15, 1912. According to one report, after helping women and children into lifeboats, Stead sacrificed his own life by giving up his life vest and a place in the lifeboat so others could be rescued. There is something very stirring about self-sacrifice. No greater example of that can be found than in Christ himself. The writer of Hebrews says in chapter 10, This man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God. For by one offering he has perfected forever those who are being sanctified. In his letter to the Galatians, Paul opened with words describing this great sacrifice. The Lord Jesus Christ gave himself for our sins to rescue us from this present evil age. Jesus' offering of himself on our behalf is the measure of his love for us. That willing sacrifice continues to rescue men and women and offer assurance of an eternity with him. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Hebrews chapter 10, verses 5-18. through 18. Therefore, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. With burnt offerings and sin offerings you were not pleased. Then I said, Here I am. It is written about me in the scroll. I have come to do your will, my God. First he said, Sacrifices and offerings, burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not desire, nor were you pleased with them, though they were offered in accordance with the law. Then he said, Here I am, I have come to do your will. He sets aside the first to establish the second, and by that will we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties. Again and again he offers the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, and since that time he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool. For by one sacrifice he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us about this. First he says, This is the covenant I will make with them after that time, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them on their minds. Then he adds, Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. That's today's scripture reading from Hebrews chapter 10, verses 5 through 18. And now let's pray together. God of love and grace, words can never capture the wonder of the sacrifice that Christ offered on our behalf. May our love respond to you with faith and worship. For your Son who was slain is worthy of our praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.